Hey you guys, welcome to the channel and welcome to um, another conference. All honor, glory, and praise be to our one and only Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, I just uh, saw something on the internet that I have to comment on. Um, it is <laughs> unbelievable. Um, I've never heard anyone discuss it before on the particular platform that I heard it on. But the people that are considered the chosen ones have made the evening news. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Now, of course, I, you know, like, <laughs> I heard it on someone's uh, YouTube channel. And I had, after I, I, I didn't even listen to the whole thing. I had to come on to speak on it and put my, my two cents in or my 20 cents in or whatever. Cause I got to speak on this, y'all. Listen. The devil is terrified. Let's get into this. Okay, you guys, um, <laughs> let me tell you something. I have been watching the evening news, most likely, all my life, even from a child. I remember when the evening news would come on television, and I would listen to the news. And I have never in my life um, heard anything about anyone uh, speaking about people that are chosen ones are considered chosen and um mocking people and um laughing and even showing emotion at all because uh, when i was a child uh, coming up um news reporters were professional and they had a serious demeanor and i believe that they were trained not to show any emotion i definitely don't recall them giving their opinion regarding um, anything as it pertains to the news. They were to um, present to the public um, the current events that were transpiring in the world. And I don't remember them showing any emotion at all. As a matter of fact, you know, I can name some people, but of course I'm not going to do that. And they always conducted themselves in a professional manner. I've never seen or heard any type of mocking come from them. And even if there was laughter, their posture was still very professional and very articulate. But I just saw um, a clip of some buffoonery that um, was on the evening news where um, there were these two reporters that were mocking people that were chosen. And I instantly, of course, um, was thinking, um, you know, never mind what I was thinking. <laughs> you know, you have to just. There's a certain demeanor that um, reporters have, and um, those two individuals obviously did not have it. They obviously um, don't make the grade. And um, of course, of course, excuse me, of course, initially, I'm thinking, okay, Satan. So it's almost like you don't really get angry. You kind of just laugh because of, really? <laughs> You know, that would have to be your thought. Really? For real? You mean to tell me that out of everything out there that's going on in the world, I, I know I, it's, it may sound like I'm, I'm going right behind somebody else because anybody that hears this will probably have the same dialogue. You mean to tell me that, or speaking similar to somebody else, you mean to tell me that out of everything that's going on in the world, they're concerned about people that have been considered the chosen ones. And, um... I, I think I heard something about there were people on TikTok that said that they were the chosen ones. And, um, excuse me, you guys, hang on one second. Okay. 
Okay, you guys, I'm back. I'm sorry. I, I forgot what I was saying. Something. I had to go um, turn something off in the room. But, um, yeah, I mean, you mean to tell me that out of everything in this world that people are concerned about people that have been considered enlightened, um, been considered um, selected of God, um, informants, people that are bringing light to the world. And uh, I heard uh, one reporter make a statement about, um, well, they're not, I don't know if the person said they're not doing anything or something like that. Um, there are many people out here that are doing um, a lot of things. It's just that evidently um, that reporter is not listening. Um, if the person took the time to listen, um, they could learn. Um, and so they were laughing and mocking people, but see what they failed to realize is that there are people in this world that will come back at them. There are people in this world that will bring it harder than what they thought they brought it. There are people in this world that are not afraid of Satan nor his representatives. Um, there's a new breed of God's army on this planet although he is the Lord he changes not but I do feel like that there is a new I don't know how to put it it's like a maybe there's a more advanced group I don't know I'm just putting that out there than in previous times where um, people would just let things go and be like okay you know whatever there, what I'm trying to say, the way I'm trying to word is that there are people now that um, are like, um, oh, you want to wag your tongue? Well, listen, watch me wag mine right back. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't like people mocking people that, I, don't, I just don't like for people to mock people because nobody has a right to disrespect you. And the only thing that those two reporters did was show their um, unprofessionalism to the entire world. They showed exactly who they are despite how they feel they were dressed or their outer, which goes to show that you cannot judge a book by its cover. And by it, so you have to, because see the thing about people that consider themselves chosen, um, you try the spirit. Regardless of what the outer, the external may be trying to present, you look at the person. And, and the only thing I saw, I, I, you know what, it's like what they said, if you don't have anything good, to say don't say anything so I'll just keep that to myself but I just had to come on to say something because my initial thought was also um, the devil is scared there's something that is being said there's something that's being put out there that Satan is highly threatened by he is highly threatened by people Speaking the truth because we know that the foundation of this world is based on a lie. So when people start putting the truth out there, it makes other people uncomfortable. When people begin to talk about God, begin to talk about Jesus, begin to talk about heaven and hell and um, the spirit realm and demonic forces and the demon world and, and things that people can't not people cannot see with the natural eye. When people begin to talk about the 3D and the 5D, people begin to talk about kingdom spouses and, and um, divine uh, feminines and divine masculines and, and um, past lives and uh, things of that nature. People that operate in the 3D get nervous about things like that because they don't understand it. Because um, the things of God or foolishness to a carnal mind. They don't understand it. The only thing that they know is the tangible. Things that they can see, uh, things that they can feel, touch, sit on, get in and drive, turn the key, walk in, put on, and, you know, tangible things. They don't understand the spirit realm. They don't even understand that um, we...